Now, let me take a moment to invite Jay Rawat, our convener. This is his second year as a convener. He is a successful serial entrepreneur who is on his fourth startup called Shop Socially. He's a distinguished IIT alum, and during the dot-com days, he was listed among the 10 top entrepreneurs joining the ranks of Narayan Murthy, the founder of Infosys. No wonder, under his leadership last year, Tycon 2011 was ranked among the 10 best conferences in the world for ideas and entrepreneurship. So I want him to come and tell you what's in store for the next two days. So Jay. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, and thank you for that very nice introduction. Congratulations, congratulations. Can I, can I get a copy of that for my in-laws? Oh, it's been recorded, you can YouTube right now. <laughs> thank thank you. you. Good morning. It's my pleasure and honor to welcome you all to TICON 2012, the world's largest conference for entrepreneurs. We believe that there is an entrepreneur in every one of us, that the will to create and innovate is encoded in the human DNA. And it is the same core belief that was behind the formation of Thai 20 years ago. To unlock that entrepreneur, to provide the spark of inspiration for starting the entrepreneurial journey, to educate and mentor to be successful in that quest, and to help connect with the right fellow passengers along the way. But this journey is not an easy one. Entrepreneurs, by very definition, are unreasonable people. For it is only when you defy the norms, question the conventional wisdom, that you can make discontinuous progress. For entrepreneurs, being safe is risky. For entrepreneurs, failure is just learning, a stepping stone to being successful. If you can learn from a defeat, you haven't really lost. Entrepreneurs understand that it is not because the things are difficult that we do not dare. It's because we do not dare that they are difficult. At Tycon, we dare them. We dare them to try, we dare them to innovate, and we dare them to succeed. And Tycon provides the platform and the tools to help you achieve that. As Vish mentioned, Tycon 2011 was ranked as one of the top 10 conferences in the world on ideas and innovation. We are both proud and humbled by that achievement. And I promise you that Tycon 2012 will be even better. So let me tell you what we have in store for you over the next two days, and how can you get the best out of this conference. I'll start with the four keynotes that we have. The starting keynote today is Vishal Sikka. I had met Vishal about 12 years ago when we were both doing our own little startups. 12 years later, I'm still doing my own little startup, and Vishal is now breathing that startup innovation passion into a corporate giant, SAP, and he's going to have a revolutionary talk about innovation without disruption, and interviewing him will be Robert Guest, business editor at The Economist. Our second keynote for the day is a person who was barely out of his teens when he started his company. And now at a ripe age of 28, he's successfully taking on Google, Microsoft, and other giants. Aaron Levy, founder and CEO of Box, in a fireside conversation with Paul Singh, will share his story of entrepreneurship, inspiration, and success. The third keynote, the opening keynote for tomorrow, is Carlos Dominguez, senior vice president of Cisco and a tech nowist. Carlos is a phenomenal speaker, and he will share the much needed survival tips for entrepreneurship. And a fourth and final keynote, the closing keynote for the conference, is another iconic name, a brilliant innovator, an incredible entrepreneur, father of telecom revolution in India, Sam Petroda. 
Sam has already done decades of work in using technology for the benefit and betterment of society. But he's not done yet. He will share his journey, the work he's doing now, and how can you contribute and participate in that. So those are our four great keynotes, phenomenal opportunity to listen to them and draw inspiration from them. But at Thai, while inspiration is one of the cornerstones, we also like to challenge our audience. We like to push the limits of your imagination, jolt you out of your comfort zone, and force you to think beyond the obvious. And our two breakthrough thinker speakers will do just that. This afternoon, we have Dr. Deepak Chopra, who needs no introduction. And he's going to talk about science and spirituality. And we also have a great opportunity to collect signed autographed copies of his books. He'll be signing his books from 12.15 to 1.15 in the expo area. So while Dr. Chopra is going to help us humans become more self-aware, the second breakthrough thinker speaker for tomorrow is going to take us to the other extreme. He's going to talk about how computers are becoming more self-aware. Scary stuff. Or maybe not. Let's find out. We'll hear from Dr. Anand Agrawal from MIT, who's going to talk about computers that learn. All right, so we talked about getting out of the comfort zone, getting inspired. But inspiration without education will only take you so far. Our breakout sessions are designed to provide you that education. They're divided into four categories. The vertical tracks will cover in-depth discussions on five different verticals, social, mobile, cloud, energy, and life sciences. The entrepreneurship track will give you the how-to lessons on entrepreneurship. How to raise money, how to build your team, how to take your products to market, and much more. The Thai Women Forum is going to inspire the women entrepreneurs, and the newly introduced Thai Youth Forum is for the young entrepreneurs. It's going to pair the experienced, such as Vinod Khosla and Tim Draper, with the young, such as 11-year-old Cameron, who started his company while he was recovering from surgery in a hospital. So it's a great opportunity. If you have kids that are high school or college age, I think you should bring them along on Saturday and register them for the Thai Youth Forum. It's going to be a phenomenal session. And at this point, I would like to take a moment to thank Yogesh Agrawal and Sanjay Sathe and the content team for putting together this phenomenal content. Let's give them a hand. So as I promised, we have a phenomenal content for you. But guess what? It gets even better. And to tell you all about that, I'm going to invite my co-convener, Farhat Ali, on the stage. Farhat is the president of Intechnology, was formerly the president of president and CEO of Fujitsu America, overseeing over 10,000 employees worldwide. He's a summa cum laude graduate from Princeton with a BSE degree in computer science and an MBA from Harvard. And he has assured me that there are no errors in his resume. <laughs> Farhat. Hey, Jay, thank you for that great introduction. Now, the question is, if there is something wrong in the resume, are you in more trouble than me? <laughs> we'll let the board decide. 